to Dr. Madhavi Indani, where uh, we bring in all the greetings from the entire team of SPEED faculty members and the entire SPEED Medical Institute to you for uh, scoring a topmost rank in uh, DM, Medical Oncology, rank number 31, uh, NEET SS session 2021. Best wishes, congratulations to you. Thank you so much, sir. Great. And to great to have you in this occasion today to, for an interview, to know your experiences and uh, how all you did your preparation and journey until now. And we want to know before that, we want to know from where you have graduated from and where you have done your master's and uh, I mean, who inspired you to take a speciality on DM Oncology? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. so I did my UG from previous medical college and came hospital Mumbai. And then I did my post graduation in general medicine from uh, BJ Medical College, Pune. So I always had inclination towards oncology. And uh, for that, I have taken internal medicine. But then uh, during the time, my family was skeptic about oncology, actually. So then I had second thoughts. Then, But I decided in the last two months that I want to give a chance to medical oncology. Let's see what happens. And if not, then maybe for the next SS, we can plan for the entire syllabus, like the general medicine part. Great. Very, very, very nice, doctor. And uh, we want to know when you started, how you started, and uh, what all you did, how you prepared. Can you share some of your experiences? Yes. As I said, I was confused if I should go for medical oncology or not, because my family was skeptic about it, about the patient's outcome and all. But I always had an inclination. So in my initial part, I have read Harrison's uh, oncology part very well, but I hadn't solved anything till then. I have taken my speed subscription in June, July, but I did not go through the videos because I was not sure if I really wanted to. But in the last two months, I was like, I wanted to give a shot. And then I opened the oncology videos because Devita to get through Devita during the last two months. That's a task. It's not possible. <laughs> And I decide that. So I went through the speed videos, Dr. Santosa's videos, the Devita's tables and images that have helped a lot. And the Harrison crash course part. I have given my MD exams this year only. So I had a general medicine part which was good enough. But the Harrison crash course which they have covered the last two months and Santosa's video that have helped a lot to me. And with that I have solved the grand test which was beneficial to get a insight about how the questions can come and the time management part for the questions. Great. How many revisions you did? How did you do your revision effectively for this? So Harrison part I have read before but other than that I have not read any other thing. In the last two months I have read Keishi Ato. One of my seniors suggested me to go through Keishi Ato because Devita is not possible at this moment and uh, there was one Devita reviews of MCQs reviews of Devita. That plus Keshiato and speed videos, Santosa's videos. I have followed that because it has helped me to clear out my basics because oncology is something you do not do much in your post-graduation studies. You get through cardio, neuro, but you do not get oncology exposure as such. I did not have that exposure, but the speed videos and the concepts has helped me a lot. Did you work on some MCQs and grant tests? Yes, I have solved the grand test. I used to actually give the grand test later because I did not follow the schedule, the schedule which was going on. So I used to solve the grand test. I have solved it in the last month. That was helpful for time management and the quality of questions that are asked. And Santosa used to cover those questions in the videos as well. So I used to get the answers also like the explanations, wherever I felt like it's not things are not clear so i used to get it through the videos as well so you solved all the papers all the uh, 10 12 papers which were there uh, no so i could not solve all 12 because i had a very small time when i decided especially the last one month was the one which i actually gave for a dedicated study so i have solved four to five grand tests but i feel that were very helpful i have solved one uh, before the aims aims exam and after that i used to solve them because i found that during the ini the Solving of the paper really helped me solve the questions. So after that, on a regular basis, I used to go through the questions. Great. Very, very nice and brief experience. And you made out all those points which are very important. How many questions were you able to attend and how did you attend? So I had hematology and oncology. So in the hematology, once the paper was over, and in oncology, I have solved 40 plus 60. 
So I have attempted around 90-92 questions. In the oncology part, I couldn't. Uh, I wanted to, but I was like, it's better to leave the seven because I had no idea about them. Otherwise, I have solved around 92 questions overall in the oncology part. Very nice. Now, uh, what will be your message for the aspirants for DM oncology? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it is possible to go through the exam smoothly if you have your basic concepts here. That is one thing, and uh, you need revisions. But at the same time, you need solving. As you said, I have solved the grandkids that has helped me. Just going through the books and the notes, but at the same time, it's important to solve the questions. And I think smart work is more important than... Great. Yeah. Now time to thank whom all you wish to thank who have made your career so far. I would thank God first for all the blessings he has given upon me. I would like to thank my family, my mother, my father, my husband. And I would like to thank team uh, of the speed team, you. I would like to especially thank Santosh, sir, because that has really helped me out. Because in the short span, I've been able to cover so much of syllabus and to get this rank. I think the sir's videos and that has helped me out. Yes, and my college teachers and mentors and seniors, everyone. <laughs> now, doctor, we bring in all the wishes once again to you for a great career in uh, DM oncologists and oncologists in years to come and to build in a great career and uh, and your contribution to be immense to the speciality and also to the people who are going to serve and you have all all those people who want to take oncology have a vision in the mind and uh, they don't take oncology just like that because they are very passionate to do it they are of course passionate to do it but they have a vision in the back end and uh, they may not tell openly also but I have understood that over a period of time and uh, they have so much of love for the people of the country and they have they and uh, they have uh, had something in their mind what best they can help from their side whatever to the extent there's a reason why the speciality is chosen if i'm not wrong and uh, with that background in the mind that you have and to that has already come into reality and that to put into practice and your service is going to be immense and your contribution is going to be immense in patient service. And for that, we wish you all the best, all the success and, uh, and a great career ahead. And uh, you will have a wonderful career. And uh, for that, once again, best wishes to you, to all your family members, all your friends and relatives, and all people around you. And you keep inspiring us like this ever. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your wishes. Thank you.